What's good everyone, MV Astro here, back at it with another video. So in today's video guys, my plan is to not only give you a quick overview of the Neutron from FPV Flight Club, which is their newest frame. It's not too new anymore, but I finally got my hands on it and able to actually build me one personally. So huge shout out to FPV Flight Club. If you guys don't know who FPV Flight Club is, that has been one of my main sponsors. Not so much on the 2018, just due to the fact that I haven't really participated in any big races, but as far as the 2017 season goes, that was like the biggest support I had, whether I needed motors, props, frames, flight controllers, VTXs, whatever I needed, he was always there to support me. So big, big shout out to Mike from FPV Flight Club. You guys go show him some love. I'll put a link down in the description down below so you guys could go check out the shop. But anyways, guys, I wanna show you guys, if you guys are actually gonna be buying one of these Neutrons, what you're gonna be receiving. So let's jump right into it. So first things first, let's start off with the, let's start off with some stickers. So you will always get an FPV Flight Club sticker, whether it's this one or this one, or maybe even both. And then you get a little sticky pad, which I gotta say, I've been flying with these sticky pads. I took or removed my Velcro away from some of my batteries. And let me say, this thing is sick. It's super, super nice. I really, really like that. You get some screws and uh, standoffs, just depending on whether you go with the skeleton mode or hybrid, which I will explain right now. So the Neutron has two variations where you could go. You could either go with the skeleton mode. So if you guys aren't familiar with my previous frame that I currently fly is the Proton. So essentially what the Neutron is, is a shrunk down version of that Neutron. So this is the top plate, which you could also put a GoPro mount on this. But if you don't want a top plate, you want a little bit more color, you do have that hybrid mode, which is essentially one of these little canopies right here. And this is actually available in a couple colors, which I'll put down on the screen for you guys. And then this right here, the CNC plate is one of the best features of the frame that Mike really, really thought out of. Currently, there's only three colors available, which is this purple, we have red, and he also has black. So in this case, I do have the uh, purple version. This is the bottom plate of the frame. And in this shot right here, I have two spare arms, right? Well, no, I'm sorry, two set of arms here. So I have the True X, which are out right now. And this is what you'll be getting if you go purchase one of these right now. Currently, this is only for the True X Neutron, the five inch. And then these, these here on the left side, these are actually prototyping right now. We're just kind of testing everything, LLC, whether they come out good and everything. But these right here are stretched X, five inch arms. So, so if you guys are actually interested in getting the stretched X arms for the Neutron, you could always purchase them later once they're released because they're easily swappable. You only do like two screws and then the arms come out. You put those uh, new ones in there and you're good. The arm configuration also is available in three inch, which I seen some neutrons in three inch and they look freaking sick. They look really, really nice. But without much further ado guys, let me go ahead and put this frame together and kind of show you guys what it looks like all put together. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so I have the Neutron all put together now, and as you can see, I went with a skeleton configuration as well as the stretch deck configuration. And like I already mentioned, these arms aren't available yet. They will be here in a few weeks, and that is because we're still testing some carbon for the arms. But like I said, I went with the skeleton version. If you guys also do want, we have that hybrid uh, that I spoke to you about that you can get this in a different color. You can get like white, red, green. I'll put some colors here on the screen for you guys. That way you guys know. But as far as the CNC plate known as the Nucleus, that's what Mike calls it, this is available in this purple. We have an all black and a red as of now, but there will be more colors available here in the future. But let's go ahead and go over some features of this frame. So let's actually start off with the weight for you guys. And let's put this bad boy on there. And it's weighing in about 73.9 grams. So roughly about 74 grams. And that is including the 3D printed mounts for the camera and the antenna. So let's kind of compare the features from the Proton. So if you guys are not familiar with the Proton, this is here on my left. Uh, this is pretty much what I've been flying for the past like 10, almost a year now, I've been flying this. And this basically is a, a mere copy of this thing, but just everything just shrunk together. This was designed to fit a regular size stack as well as a 20 by 20 stack, but whenever people would want a 20 by 20 stack on the Proton, you would just have too much spare room here in the middle. The stack would be very, very small. You had all this spare space, just a space you didn't need. And that is why Mike decided to actually design the Proton. So the Proton is actually only supposed to fit a 20 by 20 stack with a micro size camera. You also do have the nice butter mounts from the same thing from the Proton. And for those people who don't know what the butter mount I'm sorry, what the, what the butter mount does, that basically eliminates any micro 
oscillations from those motors or anything like that coming up up the arms up through the screws and messing up with the gyro on the flight controller or anything like that so and that really really uh, seems to help by just making your tune a lot better and just making your quad fly a lot smoother so i really really love that mike did this on this new frame so the next thing of course if you guys are not familiar with the nucleus plate this is a, a cnc plate and one thing i absolutely love about this nice design one it's light and two it just eliminates all of the extra spare nuts that other frames do have out there and the reason i say that is because what this cnc plate already does is it's essentially acting like one of those nuts because it has the threads right in there so you eliminate having to use nuts so you see these screws at the bottom they all screw up to this thing right there very very nice to take out an arm you just have to uh, worry about two screws you don't have to worry about the ones with the stack the ones with the stack you can reach them through there right there and then you'll be messing with the ones with the stack so that's really really nice and uh, we have the 3d printed mounts here for the camera we have a 3d printed uh, mount for the antenna we also have the nice flush bottom the screws aren't protruding out or anything like that and i have seen that that kind of helps whenever if you don't run this pad down there or some velcro that usually helps with preventing any damage to your battery or anything like that and it just gives you a nice much cleaner look you know it's all about details and this then this little window right here me personally i don't use it just because my current flight controller has the receiver actually integrated in there is the xsr f40 that i currently run but for those people like mike i know i've seen him he has his little crossfire here at the bottom and he basically either uses it to bind it or he also uses it too whenever he's updating his crossfire. So I have seen that thing. Or whatever you, you know, you may have a BC right there. Whatever you may have right there, you have that little access window right there. And then with the top plate, if you go with the skeleton mode, you do have access of putting a GoPro mount, which uh, I don't have in front of me right now, but you are able to just slide that GoPro mount in there, taking these two screws out and then putting them right back in and you're able to record in HD. So other than that, uh, these frames are very very similar but like i said if you guys like the proton but just didn't like that spare room whenever you put a 20 by 20 stack or those extra few grams from it being a little bit heavier you do have the new neutron from flight club which is essentially only for a 20 by 20 stack and now let's i want to show you guys the electronics i'm actually going to be building this bad boy with so let's go ahead and start off with the stack itself so let's move this to the side and well i'm going to be going with the magnum mini f4 this is an all-in-one stack is a 20 by 20 stack and mike has actually been running this for a couple months now and he said it's actually been very very reliable for him i think he has about three quads with it and so far so good so this includes the four in one esc at the bottom is a 35 amp rated three to six s so you know i will be running this bad boy on six s this is an f4 flight controller so that's really really nice and then it has that vtx integrated in there and then it comes like with it, all the pigtails and wires in there so that's really really nice i'll actually i think i might actually be doing a video on my configuration because i had a lot of people actually ask me on one of my other videos what my pids and like what my whole butterfly slash beta flight setup was so i think i'm gonna be doing another video separately on this showing you guys my rates and pids and my overall setup and then as far as my motors go if you guys don't know this i am already sponsored by t-motor and so i will be running the f60 pro v2s these are the 6s capable 1750kv so i do currently run this on one of my other 6s setups and so far so good i have no complaints about those motors so i will be running them on this setup as well as far as the camera i'm running my foxier micro v3 so if you guys don't know what camera that is let me go ahead and show you that's that right there so i will be running that for as far as my camera and then as far as my receiver goes so if you guys have not seen my last video where i did the nirvana kind of first impressions and first thoughts with said hando uh this is one of the receivers for fly sky so i will be running this bad boy on there and finally getting my first impressions on the first flight on this quad for the nirvana so look forward for that video because that will be coming soon and then as far as like my stubby i like rocking the lumineer axi and because that, that simply just goes right there stays out of the props it doesn't get damaged so it's really really nice and then let's see what else do i have of course the little pad that's going to go down here for my velcro strap but that's essentially it just because everything is going to be on this emac stack as far as the flight controller you have the smart audio capable vtx that does 25 milliwatts or 200 milliwatts and it's a 40 channel vtx as well as the esc so everything is already right here so 
So yeah guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on the overview of the Neutron from FPV Flight Club. If you guys are interested in buying this frame or still have any questions concerning the frame, please feel free to comment down below. I will also have a link down in the description below where you could purchase the frame from. But with that guys, hope this was uh, very helpful and look forward for that video of me setting up this quad on Butterfly. But with that being said, hope you guys have a great day and peace out.